Hey folks, it's Kikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Replay Icewind Dale The Enhanced Edition, and when last we left off, we completed the Heart of Winter. We slew a Castlewrecked, ending their threat, and saving not just the Ten Towns, but also the Barbarian Tribes, and potentially all sentient life in the realms. And now we have to deal with the main game, but first, we have buying and selling to do. Oh, do we have a lot of buying and selling to do. And we also have some white dragon scales that we can get turned into armor. And there's only one person I know of here in Kaldahar that can do that, and that is the blacksmith. So let us go and hand these scales over and see what can be crafted. Hello. Yeah. Let us uh, switch to Radella because Radella has the oh, highest charisma. And we always like to use Radella when buying and selling to gold. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you're not dead yet. What can I do for you today? Can I commission armor from these white dragon scales? Dragon? I never thought I'd see something like this. I don't have much experience with exotic materials such as these, but I should be able to make some armor from them. I'll take it slow. Let's say three days to finish. Make sure it's right, as dragon scales don't grow on trees. My commission is 5,000 gold. That is nothing, Conlon. For dragon scale armor? Yes, let's do it. All right, come back in three days and I should have it ready for you. What else can I do for you? I'd like to purchase some weapons, and by purchase some weapons, I mean I want to sell some things to you. I want to sell a lot of things, like this, and some shark skin armor. Okay, shark skin armor is worth basically nothing. Coral plate is worth basically nothing. You won't take that. You will take these six spears, though. These two here, these here, we'll keep the bolts, uh, the mithril plate, the shape-shifting sword I don't think we're going to need. Actually, we'll keep the shape-shifting sword. This, these, that's pretty good, but we don't need it anymore. The robe of the neutral archmage you'll take, apparently, the braces of armor, the large shield, the full plate, the long sword of action, which is nice, but we don't need two of them. I'll keep it, though, just in case. Uh, Battle Axe of Fatigue. Three pairs of gauntlets of ogre power. This bow of marksmanship. Eight quarterstaffs. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Anything generic? Nope, we'll sell this for 63,000. Uh, that's not even all, because we have your bag of holding that we're going to open, and we're going to get everything out of this, like the coral plates, and these, and that, and that, and shadowed plate, which we can get ten grand for. That is fantastic. Uh, fast flail plus two. Yeah, we can sell that. We're not going to sell that. Uh, um... Eight sets of broken armor we can probably get rid of. Um, just a plus five spear. Hmm. I will keep everything else there. Who else has a bag of holding? You have a bag of holding. Anything cool in that? N nope, not really. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. What else do you have that I would potentially like? Uh... Yeah, the Helm of the Trusted Defender, we still cannot use that. It does make me very, very sad, but uh, got the Blade of Bale, which is a plus three sword. Pikeman's End, the Black Bow. Oh, Black Bow is Thacko plus four. It's a pretty good bow. I'm going to buy it just in case we need, because I'm pretty sure that you're only using a Thacko. No, yours is also Thacko plus four. Never mind. We we don't Ready. need that. I am certainly. Uh, we don't need that bow. Um, uh, we've got a little better than that. Okay, well, these are all random things that we have sold you, and you don't really sell any good ammunition. No, you don't. Right. So the other thing we want to do is we want to go to here, and we want to see if there's anything we want to buy that's magical. We are going to wait for three days for that armor. I think we can also bring something to the person in the Hidden Swerf Neblin village in the, the 
dwarven ruins. The remnants of their ancient civilization. I think we can go to them and get something upgraded. We're going to be going that way anyway because the plot demands we go that way. We do need to buy things that will be generally useful. We do have a lot of nice scrolls. And the fact that we can defeat the dragon tells me that we probably have a decent shot at defeating the uh, task. other boss in this game. Hello, how task. you doing? I'd like to purchase some more things, please. What do you have for me that I'd really want? Jasper's Ring of Shocking Grasp, which gives you Shocking Grasp four times per day. Hemby's Wand of Many Missiles. Um... Merry by reputation and promiscuous by nature, the half-elf enchantress Pemby Cloud Silk created a great number of wands and staves in her time on Faerun. Pemby kept this wand for herself for personal protection. When she was killed by a jealous lover in 1103 DR, she left the wand to one of her many other suitors, the thief Tamlock of Waterdeep. Tamlock avenged Pemby's death several years later when he killed her murderer with an imperceptibly poisoned blade in a duel. Ooh, nice. And then there's the wand of freezing death. And a ton of scrolls. And the Scarab of Goodwill, which gives you friends once per day. The Girdle of Gond, which is meh. The Robe of Infusing, which is not bad. But I think we pretty much expended all that's really good that you have. Which is a shame. So now what we have to do is just well. wait three days and get our amazing... What what armor class does your armor currently have? Oh, I feel we're going to be giving you an upgrade, because I think the white dragon scale is just better than that armor. It's just better. Also, I was planning to use the ogre girdle, wasn't I, in that white dragon battle. I didn't end up using it. It's probably a good thing that I didn't. Actually, I really should have, but... Maybe the fact that we didn't meant that we got that extra little attack in that meant that no one but our dwarf died. And then we brought him back, which is always good. Okay, the rest of the party is slowly getting closer. Slowly. Do we even have any more quests? Um... I'm pretty sure I've already done that. I, am here. I think I've done most of those quests. I don't really think there's anything to do well. but the main story now. Okay, let's I go see. in here and get some rest. Hello, I'm just gonna rest here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that should be three days. Yes, Let's I'm go. Here. Very well. we'll leave here, Magic head back here. Pass. Unfortunately, we can't just jump over the routes. We have to go all the way around. And I like that everyone is still talking about the Orog attack. I mean, to be fair, it is Kaldahar. They don't have much else to talk about. Oh, wait, they do. They have the impending death that they have coming for them as the frost continues to encroach into the wall. Okay. Is it ready? Welcome back. I was just putting a last coat of polish on the white dragon armor. Well, of course, it's your armor now. Travel well, friend. I doubt you'll find better protection than this. Let's have a look at it. Not surprisingly, this armor created from the scales of a provides the wearer with protection from cold and ice. Cold resistance, 50%. Armor class, minus two. Compare this to armor class minus one. It's minus four versus slashing. Minus three versus piercing a missile. Minus four versus crushing. Yeah. I mean, if we're up against slashing weapons, this is better. But if it's piercing missile and crushing, this is better. Also, it just looks cooler. It also looks more in keeping with the character's portrait. So this armor is now just minus one armor, which I don't think is... Hmm. Could you wear this? No, you cannot wear this because of all the other magical things that you're currently using. A shame, but, uh... 
we'll just put this in here for now. And we, oh, we do need some more normal arrows. This is something that we do in fact need. So, Ready. that's one thing we do want to buy. Hello, you have arrows, do you not? We would like to purchase some normal arrows. How many? A lot. We only bought 40. Hang on. Side, no small There's task. a better way to do this. And it's called just uh, pressing this. I'm just doing this. It guarantees that I get what I need. That's a good amount of arrows to start with. Really, I should have Magdus buying them. But, uh, yeah, we need a couple of arrows. Just in case we run out of ammunition. Also, pass these over to you because we didn't ultimately end up needing them. But you can store them in here. There we go. Unfortunately, we now cannot buy any more... I'll just put these in here. We can't buy any more awesome healing potions, I'm but I'm sure we'll be alright. Right Hello. I'd like to purchase some more arrows, please. How many? I'll tell you when to stop. There you go. Ten, which gives me more of these. Ah, this container is full. Good, we can buy some more I arrows to put in this container. And then I think we'll be good. Look, if the game's not going to provide me with a way to get unlimited arrows, I will just do this and buy, like, a bajillion arrows. That's probably going to be enough arrows. Oh yeah, this is absolutely enough arrows. The container is full. Yep, that's enough arrows. I'm here. Okay. I'll be doing Switch back it. round. I... We'll save. And I suppose we should go and check up on... Gun. On you, before we go back to... The main plot. We probably should. Hello, do you have anything interesting? You have cows. Not a problem. Hello. Ah, welcome back, travelers. You're looking a little worse for wear today. Perhaps one of my potions could put a little color in your cheeks, eh? What do you have? You have some pretty good potions. You have infinite mummies teas, by the way. Um, uh, but not okay. You can also sell elixirs of health. So, uh, let's buy some of these. Like, I'm not even joking. Let's buy thirty of them. You can have thirty. You can have 30. You can have 30. I'm not kidding. Elixirs of health for everyone. I mean, what else am I going to spend 218,544 money on? Nothing is the answer. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I might as well just get a ton of healing potions. Okay, I think everybody has more than enough. Yes, they do. Perfect. You can have 24 there. You can have 24 here. We have a perfectly ordinary key that apparently is just going to go there for a while. Uh, you can have tons here. We have literally another pile of them here. We have another pile of them here as well. Another pile of them here, too. We have multiple piles of spa We have multiple piles of spare healing potions, and you know what? That's absolutely fine. I will deal with having multiple piles of potions. Ready. I'm here. Right then. Because there's nothing else we're going to be spending our money on. Okay, next, now that we've done that, we're going to go and head to where the plot tells us we must go. Is that all? And we will do our buying and selling there, because there are a couple of stores there where we can maybe buy some plus one arrows and other such stuff. And we didn't actually use that many piercing arrows, did we? We still have loads of them. Very glad for that, because we're going to need those piercing arrows for the final boss. Magnus does look amazing there right now. Does look amazing. Okay, so. Uh, lower Dawn's Deep. 
Oh, we can't. We can't just travel to there. We can, however, go to destination unreachable. Uh, here, though, we can go to, and we do rest here so that hmm? we are now Is that all? probably rested, and we will then head over to the hidden settlement. Been a while since we've been here. Been a long while. Off to the oubliette we go. Right then. Over to the settlement, and then we'll see if we can get something improved. I may have accidentally solved the thing that we were meant to improve, but if I did, I doubt we needed it. This one, someone in the comments goes, No, you sold the thing of me! And it's like, I did. I did sell the thing of me. It has been sold. Not a problem. I'm sorry. But we did the thing. We won't need it. If we were able to beat that dragon with only a small amount of buffing, then I'm pretty confident we'll be okay. This is when we're not okay. This is when we are anything but okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. We'll double check your stock, uh, merchant on the western side of town. And then what we'll double we check go? the stock of the merchant to the east. The way. Done. First to you. I welcome you back, honor customers. What did you have again? The silvered bre- Ah. I'm gonna buy these. I'm just gonna buy them. Uh, solemn duty. Sure. Give me that as well. Um, nothing else here. You don't sell arrows. Well, none that I can see anymore. Oh! Resurrection? You know what? Staff of Resurrection? Buy it. Buy it. If we have the option to get a Staff of Resurrection, we're buying it. Resurrection is a good spell. My staff was used sparingly by priests of Moradin during their darkest hours, enchanted by several high priests. The staff of Moradin's breath was resurrected some of the greatest dwarven heroes of Dawn's Deep. It was last used to resurrect Creed Dawn, killed by elven archers and mages during a battle near Calderhard Pass. The staff was hidden in Lower Dawn's Deep to prevent it from being stolen by orcs when, it was finally overran, when they finally overran the dwarven defenses. Cast Resurrection. What is your will? That's an expensive spell. We do want that. We do want that. Right. Yes. Let's speak to Dirty Damn. Lou. Oh, my. Dirty Lou is honored by the presence of such a lovely, voluptuous, radiant lady. Can you do anything with Remoras shells? Oh, but you, my lovely. Oh, I know some craftsmen who can make helmets out of them. It'll cost 5,000 gold. Sounds good. Come back in three days, and I'll have your helmet ready. Let's see your wares against my better judgment. Spirit essence. Ooh. You know what? Let's buy those. They heal 25 health. Uh, nothing else. I'm going to buy that potion of fire resistance as well. Just in case we need it. This valuable potion was made by capturing and distilling the spirit of trolls. Normally only attempted by powerful necromancers and enchanters, the process results in a powerful healing potion able to instantly regenerate even severe wounds. Yeah, it's a good thing to have. I'm gonna give that to you. And I bought... this. Because we could... we could... Remove Thacko and damage for one more piece of a point of AC if we need to. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't do anything for you at all. It sets your AC to two. It doesn't do anything for you either. So really, that's a you item? I'll consider it. There's no harm in ultimately keeping it. I mean... Not likely we're going to be doing anything else with the uh, money. So, we need to wait three days. Fortunately, we have a way to very safely wait three days. And it's in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three days. All done. Then we can have a look at what this helmet looks like. Hopefully it's something good. Well, 5,000 gold, it better be. 
I have no idea where Core's going. Yes. I see. Not a clue. Uh, is my helmet ready, Dirty Lou? Oh, here you are. Right, let's have a look at this helmet. Crafted from chitinous scales, this helmet retains some of the mad natural resistances of the Remoraz from which it was made. Ooh! That's pretty good. Can't be used by a wizard slayer, which is a shame. Well, that's plus one AC. Hmm. Hmm. Plus one AC. That also confers you a bit of magic resistance. We don't have immunity to horror and cloak of fear. But I'm going to take that, because that's not bad at all. So let's put this in here. And we will now go and get ready for carrying on the actual plot. For we are very close to the point of no return. In fact, I'm pretty sure the point of no return is basically upon us. We just need to go and insert those badges, which are in the bag of holding as I do recall. So the badges in the slots within the temple and we will unlock the way to the one pulling the strings in Dawn's Deep. The one who seeks the end of Kaldahar. We don't know who they are, but we will stop them. Okay, I do sort of know who they are because I have done all of this before. Okay, we need to go to Market's Palace, because I'm pretty sure Market's Palace is the way to very quickly get to where I need to be. We're not going to be facing any enemies in here, and if we do face any enemies in here, I'm pretty sure we will destroy them. I mean, our rogue has a hundred plus hit points now. More hit points than our druid. More hit points than our druid, and a pretty impressive Thacko. Zero yes. minus one. That means more often than not, we'll be hitting even heavily armor targets. Okay, let's go into here. And I'm pretty sure that leads to the mines. That leads that leads to the temple. Okay. We go. Temple over here. And I'm pretty sure you two are yes, you And when we come back, folks, we will go into the final part of Icewind Dale the end of a story, confront the final boss in time, and hopefully save the realms. Fingers crossed anyway, and this is when I've like dropped the six badges that I needed somewhere else, and then I'm just sad. It's like, oh, we just left them in the heart of winter, and then the game is unwinnable. I'm sure we didn't though. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.